Welcome to our Lakefront Communities. The Indiana Dunes is home to several communities that can only be described as simply authentic. These aren't your typical cookie cutter tourist towns. They're unique communities with their own local flavor. If you're looking for a taste of lake life, head to our lakefront communities. The five towns of Beverly Shores, Ogden Dunes, Burns Harbor, the Pines and Dune Acres, Ring the Lakeshore, and are a stone's throw from Lake Michigan. Beverly Shores is located about 50 miles east of downtown Chicago. You get a lot of visitors from Chicago and from other areas that come to the National Lakeshore. The lakefront communities are known for beautiful vistas, scenic lake view sites, and amazing architectural structures. The most well-known landmarks are the Century of Progress homes, five structures built for the 1933 Chicago World's Fair that were relocated to the portion of Beverly Shores that is now within the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore. Today, you can drive or walk along Lakefront Drive to see the home's exteriors year-round, or stop by during the annual architectural tour in October. Citizens of Indiana Dunes country know the beach communities of Ogden Dunes and Dune Acres as exclusive, private areas where residents can enjoy quiet beachfront living. Where we're standing now is uh, approximately 100 and so feet within the National Park, which is on the uh, both the east and the western borders of town. This is West Beach that we're looking at. My wife and I have been out here a number of times walking through it in the, in the late fall and winter or cross-country skiing in here. We'd be out for two hours and not see a soul. One of my favorite things about Ogden Dunes, about Northwest Indiana's beaches, is the singing sands. It's one of the few places on earth where you go for a walk and and your the sand sings. It makes a sound. It's it has quartz in it and it makes this beautiful sound. So that's a rare unique thing. In Burns Harbor, visitors can enjoy green style activities like fishing for salmon, trout, and other fish on the Little Calumet River. Or enjoy swimming, fishing and outdoor sports at the 29 acre Lakeland Park. I never did catch the biggest fish. I never did and I tried. Even I had one of my little scouts, he was a weeblow back then, and he came up and he says, here, Mr. McGee, here, take my pole, you know? For an example of how modern industry can coexist in green spaces, drive by the nearby Arcelor Middle Steel Mill. Here, they will explain situations to us, they will change. They put a lot of money into their procedures to satisfy us here. It's very uh, enjoyable to have a uh, steel mill, especially this large, to really have concern. The Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore runs throughout the lakefront communities and makes a picturesque backdrop for striking out and exploring nature. Enjoy great hiking and bird watching along the Great Marsh Trail and Lakeview Picnic Area in Beverly Shores, or at West Beach in Portage Lakefront and Riverwalk Park near Ogden Dunes. Right here at the south end of the lake, the birds go to and from Florida and Canada as they're passing through. It's just a wonderful diversity of birds. Or spend an afternoon hiking along the Coles Bog Trail at the entrance of Dune Acres. The spectacular views that line the roads of Beverly Shores and the Pines mean the area is custom made for scenic drives. Grab your favorite car or bike and take a turn through county streets and Indiana State Road 520, which at two tenths of a mile is the shortest state highway. Lakefront Drive is also a great place to cruise along Lake Michigan in Indiana Dunes country. It runs through miles of coastline and is a breathtaking vantage point for viewing nature in all seasons, including the magnificent fall colors and the lake's otherworldly looking winter shelf ice. There is so much shelf ice that forms usually during the winter and it changes and it has blowholes of water coming out. It looks like a mini mountain and many different mini mountains. It is absolutely magical. The lakefront communities are also a great place to pick up dune-centric souvenirs. The schoolhouse shop is a former schoolhouse turned department store in Old Furnaceville that carries unique fashionable items. The depot of Beverly Shores Museum and Art Gallery is both a tribute to the area's history and a great place to catch the South Shore Line into Chicago. 
learn about the lakefront's fascinating history, visit the gallery filled with works from local artists, and pick up a souvenir in the gift shop. Or you can chow down on a pizza from the Rolling Stone Baker. The Rolling Stone Baker is a 1952 and a 1949 Studebaker fire truck that's been converted to having a wood pizza oven on the back. So they have fresh wood-fired pizzas made to order, and it's parked right at the entrance of Beverly Shores. There are plenty of fun adventures waiting for you in our lakefront communities, and it'll take more than a day to experience them all. Fortunately, you'll find all sorts of lodging options to help you extend your stay, from posh bed and breakfasts to family-friendly motels to retro motor lodges and more. Visit Indiana Dunes Tourism at indianadunes.com to start planning your trip to the lakefront communities.